Hello everyone and welcome to what may be the final episode of a small price to pay for Framerate. This series has gone on for quite a while, uh, a few months indeed, six months to be total. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> last episode of course we had to get two more of the time stones, so we have five, uh, sorry, the infinity stones, so now we have five, which means there is one left, and today we are going to be getting that. And uh, do note, <coughs> there is a little bit of scenes for uh, the previous um, collection that we just got uh, with the, the five stones that we have, and then of course including new scenes for the power stone. So I hope you're all ready, and let's begin. Well, everyone, we got our time stone. Only um, there had to be a bit of a change of things. <clears throat> there still is going to be. You probably noticed that I had to attach it to the dagger here to be able to use it. That's because the pommel that I made does not fit on this. It doesn't fit on the bottom. So it's actually a simple task that we have to do. Um, I'm going to actually make a time stone dagger that we can turn into. And I'll put a another one of the... Another one of the golden guards like this one. Like this one right here at the bottom. That way I can stick the time stone one on the bottom there. And I think it should work that way. I hope so. I believe that's how it can work. And then, yeah, we only have one more piece to go. A big purple. You know how important that one's going to be. And <laughs> it's coming close to an end. So putting this one on, I'm finally glad that we did that. Because it looks nice. It's great. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and start working on our Valiant one after... Okay, this is a bad way of make a... Okay everyone, I'm in the midst of rebuilding the dagger. I mean, clearly this is more than enough. Um, but I did go down to the mines just for a little bit because, uh, well, a little bit is hard to say. But um, a bit of an understatement. But uh, I had to go down there so I could get some material. But me and a mate were down there just a moment ago and we decided to do halvesies on uh, our materials. So I have a few things here, and when I was down there, I actually managed to get two leather rolls. So that was quite a win in my book. Um, but so right now, all we have to craft is the new Viridium Dagger. And um, I have to be sure for this mate he, that he knows that our, our split is uh, should be 15-15. Because I got exactly 90 mithril or so that's going to make 30 ingots and then he'll get 15 so if he sees this in any time in the future just let him know 15 is how much he gets there we go 30 so this is going to weigh me down like crazy now um but before we go i actually need to craft the the holster and this thing right here uh, before i can craft the dagger we're not doing that because um that one is a weird shape so we're going to be doing this one for the Viridium one. It's unfortunate that the panel didn't fit on the item that we had to be able to make it, but um, I don't know, this might be an uh, interesting alternative. So we only have to throw a few gold in here for this. Somebody said that this was hideous, so um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys' opinions is. There you go. It probably pretty much is. I mean, that doesn't even look good. It's like a fan of it's like a the infinity gauntlet, huh? Okay, and I believe this dagger was only two, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Right, through that there. Oh my god. There we are. It took like three hits, right? Yeah, it's silver. I have a silver hammer. Okay, everybody, you guys already saw me um, get the pummel, or the time stone, I should say. So we'll just put this sucker on, since we did before, and, um, yeah, not too bad. Now we have one more to go. Can't believe we're almost done with this. We literally only have to get Valian. I and to tell fire. you... And to tell you, um, going on that mining trip just a moment ago, we actually have enough material to be able to make it, I think. And then we just gotta do a little bit and then we can complete our mission. 
So let's get it done. You know, everyone, it's crazy to see how long we've been doing this because this project has been constantly on the back of my mind for days, months even. I had to see when it was the first time that I actually, I can't say uploaded because, well, I guess I could, but i just been waiting a long time because doing the Space Stone one was quite some time. But, um, gonna make a final blade. 20 of those. 10 of these. Oh boy. Um, okay. Oh, and one wood left to spare. Oh, I'm kind of shaky right now. I'm so nervous about this. There it is. Our tin valiant to make the blade. I know you're talking about, I met him like last week. His sword was like mad sick bro, it was like purple and everything. Um, excuse me. I heard a couple of years talk about a mate who had a purple sword. Uh, is there anything else about it that seemed a little different? He said it was important and he had to keep it guarded. But there was no other reason? Like, maybe some of the things it could do? No, nothing in particular. Well, thank you, mates. Um, enjoy yourselves. He was strange. Yeah, he was kind of weird. He was very apt about that sword. Keep it in the Gonna be a climb, but I need that last piece. Why is that always so difficult? Oh, so you're the one that I'm supposed to be finding. So you seek wisdom. I guess you could call it that. I'm kind of looking for a little bit more, though. More than wisdom? I'm afraid I have nothing else to give you than my words. I seek an item. Ah, uh, well, of which you possess. Hermit purple? The source of power? So that's what you call it. But besides names, does your blade have a purpose? I'm not just a wise man. I'm the guardian of this sword. So I presume you know what it is capable of. Well, so do I. And I have a proposition for you. What is it that you propose? For one, you are a wise man who sits upon a tower, alone or by himself. I'm willing to give you a proposition of 50-50 for the sword, for whatever it is that you request. I do not see how your proposition could benefit me. I do request that I get that blade from you, but of course, the value that you have over that does make sense. There is nothing else that you could value as a wise man, but I will not leave this tower unless you win. And anybody who comes up here, then there's going to be a lot less wisdom for you to share unless you accept my request. People seek you for wisdom, yet what people will there be if I occupy this space? 
for so long. Though I am surprised. With all the propositions, with all the comments that I've made, I'm surprised that you haven't smitten me out of here yet. I will only use a sword if I am being caught. For Hermit Purple has yet to witness a deceiver. I wish to share my wisdom with travelers, so I accept your proposition. Well, that's perfect. Let's begin. Okay, so let's do a coin flip. Heads I win, tails you lose. Wait a minute. Hmm? He thought he could trick me. Is that the man who tried to fool me? Oh no. to me a false deal. You're the one who accepted it. But I'm getting that sword still, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You know, you were this close to succeeding, and yet you failed. They call you a wise man, and yet you couldn't even do this. It's unfortunate. I know what you are making, and I must oblige you to stop where you are. What I am doing is beyond you. This is for the greater good of the server. I won't let anyone stop me. What you are doing <coughs> is only gonna hurt those around us. It will help everyone who remains. This server has struggled with consistent lag and just endless losses. This isn't for me. It's for everyone. And what did you lose in that process? I know that you have due to your possession of that soul blade. Do you think that this was 
worth the one thing that you cared about? Do you think I don't know what you're trying to do? Huh, Wiseman? Of course you try this. What a pain. It is pain. Your pain. Your loss. You aren't doing this for anyone but yourself. Your sacrifice was your first mistake. More pain will come if you don't stop now. Think about it. I have thought about it. What I need is you out of the way. See you. Ending this here, right now. Finally. I hope you're prepared, Will. I know exactly what I need to do first. Finally, after all this time, you're going to thank me, Sever. Everyone. All right, I gotta, I gotta be careful with these mushrooms. I want them to burn. Wait a second. What's happening? Well, that's pretty much uh, a dungeon tale. If you ever want to check your uh, level but don't want to head all the way to the mountain pass, we have a little like thing, like a bridge. You can go down here and go take up the stairs. And there's going to be a dungeon. like Not really a dungeon, but like climbing thing right there. <laughs> if you need anything, let us know. Oh. Alright. Thank you. Um, oh, and I have one more question. Uh, where yeah, is the best was, place for hunting? Would... Uh... Ace, what's happening to you, man? The heck? What, what happened to him? Uh, beats me. Uh, mother. And then, uh, oh. What is happening here? Yeah, like there was you find anything yet? No, nothing yet. We need to find a lot of sticks. Just, just keep looking. Uh, what? what 
what's happening. Yo, I found some wood. We can use it. Uh, hello? You there? Hello? You there? Hello? Hello? Where could he have gone? Hello? You there? That stole us away somewhere. This power is too much. Ah! On this. I have to leave it. That makes sense. Hope the people appreciate what I've done. The server will be will breed a flag. There won't be losses anymore. Ah, I'm doing what I can to do. Farewell to you. You guys be careful well everybody uh, and that is the end of a small price to pay for frame rate I really thank you all <coughs> sorry about that I really thank you all for waiting this long for part two it's really good to see um, how many of you have stuck around channel grown has grown a lot since then and yeah we're finally finished with this this uh, little clip in a moment of Tantrum Tail, it, it's crazy that this project took so long to do. <coughs> um, from getting the material, which I had to do three times, uh, twice in one server, one time in another, um, which is where the scenes kind of jump back and forth. I actually did this between here in Dungeon Tail and in Timeship Tail. Uh, I had to do that because of the population of people per server during that time. So, um, <coughs> yeah, we finally met our end. It's wonderful. And I do thank everybody who participated in the making of this, um, especially for those mates who participated in this one, because this one was way longer, and the scenes took much longer to do. And, yeah, over the course of six months, yeah, what are you going to do? Um, but, yeah, so I'll be wearing, going around in Township Tail without my hood now, because I'm... Um, certain mate you know destroyed it thank him very much for that and um yeah uh i do thank you all for watching this and then please do go check out part one uh before you watch this one and on top of that yeah we've done a lot we've done a lot here and there's still more to come more recommendations from you mates and i really hope that you do recommend more if there's other servers you want me to check out or some weird things that happen on servers here and there of course you can always do that um so yeah i'll leave you off with that i do have one more thing though the blade that we used uh to make uh this happen it actually is in the server still i don't have it with me but if you find it you can have it so yeah that'll be a little gift and a trinket for yourselves here and there and if you find it good for you and come to me if you want part two um so yeah uh it's hitting daytime already i've been talking for a while um and yeah so i'll leave you off there thank you for watching hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye